Hey there viewers and welcome back. You are watching Get Well, Stay Well on Revelation TV. We have been talking about our Christmas special, our Christmas programme, and also how to eat healthy during Christmas, which is can be difficult, can't it, Felicity? Well, not the way we did it. We <laughs> had that beautiful vegan lunch and the little girl saying grace about the turkeys, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, we can have a very healthy Christmas and we don't have to overindulge. Yeah, I was going to ask, what advice would you give? Because some of our uh, viewers might be going out to dinner, to restaurants during Christmas period or going to their friend's house. How can they eat healthy when they do that? Well, you've got to keep alkalized. So the thing is, if you've overdone it a little bit, you want to get your sodium of bicarbonate out. And as I talk about, you know, you put a half teaspoon of sodium of bicarbonate into a glass of water and stir it up and drink that down. That's a wonderful alkalizer for the body. So uh, that's a good little pick me up in the morning, perhaps. Excellent. Well, we are doing a, something on Twitter called the Get Well Challenge. We're on Twitter. It's called hashtag Get Well Challenge. We just want to encourage each other. We're all here for each other, basically, as Revelation TV. So please do put your short little testimonies or your experiences. Have you started juicing now? And uh, how do you feel? We would love to hear from you. We have had some tweets and they've been coming in since our last program last week, Felicity. So I'm just going to read some out here. Um, this is from Sue saying, starting the day with hot lemon, um, apple cider vinegar and some cinnamon instead of tea. And it's just, it's, it's about changing your regular habits and also substituting it with something else. Well, it's much better for you, absolutely. And the cinnamon is very clever because that cuts the sugar cravings, Sue. So well done, that's a really good idea. We also have a tweet here saying, I'm going to start juicing. What would you recommend to juice first, to detox? Well, I would go with the cucumbers to go with uh, first uh, to get the detox really going. You need to have green because the green is the chlorophyll, which is, uh, which is in the plants. It's the action of the sunlight on, on the plants. So we really need to get the green juices into our body. And the easiest one to start with really is the cucumber. And also we can put some celery, we can put some uh, wheat grass in as well, just a, a teaspoon of wheat grass, which you stir into the juice when you've made it. So that will give tremendous, um, tremendous nutrients because the wheat grass has all the, all the amino acids which make up the protein. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, I'm not going to get any protein because they associate protein with animal protein. In fact, it's protein is made up from amino acids and the best protein in the world is broccoli mm -hmm. and green vegetables. You know, the little florets on the top, all those little cells are absolutely wonderful for our body. So the thing is to get your green juices in. And when you put a little bit of broccoli or kale um, into the green juice, you really don't taste the broccoli and the kale as much you're tasting the cucumber. I always put a little bit of lemon in. Sometimes you can put ginger in as well if you like ginger. So um, herbs are really important and basically get a good green juice going every morning. You have one green juice and then you get into your colored juices later. And sent us a tweet as well saying she started the Get Well Challenge a month ago. She heard us talking about changing cow's milk to goat's milk. Mm -hmm. And she's saying years of constipation has now gone, oh. which is great. Hallelujah, that is really good news, Anne. And uh, yes, the goat's milk is not nearly as allergenic in our body as, um, as the cow's milk. And of course, you can also go on to rice milk and almond milk and oat milk as well. Uh, soy has got a bit of a question mark because it's nearly all genetically modified now. But anyway, I'm delighted that you've, you've made that move to the goat's cheese and the goat's milk. Yeah. The goat's cheese is delicious, of yeah. course. Yes. But at the end of the day, Felicity, it's about making the changes, but making the small changes at the beginning because it's not easy sometimes you you want to do and you you can go you can go too fast too soon really can't you and and get demotivated perhaps well yes if you try to be too radical too quickly you know if people are really very ill with cancer as i was or heart disease or diabetes then they've got to be radical but then if you can come on a course like the get well course or you go to a place um, like the gerson institute where they're helping people through this detox all the time, they know how to, how to lead you through, uh, then it's much easier. But basically, if you're doing it at home, and I love it when people um, 
do the Get Well Stay Well course at home because this is really how it's meant to be. It's mm. meant to be inexpensive. It's meant to be accessible for everybody. That's the whole, the whole thing that I want to do with preventative health um, so that people can actually do all these things very inexpensively at home and get well and stay well permanently. So if you start gently, just introducing perhaps the green juice and a walk each day because you want to bring you know, the rehydration in and the exercise in, and gradually you'll find the energy will rise in the body and so you will start to feel better. And then of course, once you're motivated by feeling better, you don't really want to go back to the uh, milk and cookies diet that we've all done when we've been busy. Yeah. Well, we do, we do talk about exercise and we do talk about trying to maintain that and, and keep ourselves motivated at the same time. But it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle change with, that we're looking to do. And we talk about the diet, exercise. It comes as one main package, doesn't it, really? Yes, it does. It's nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, all these things put together and trust in God. It's mm. very important to have some laughter in our lives, some uh, some peace and calm it yeah. is important like felicity said it's so important to have laughter and fun in our life let's take a look at this little joke here that we have on screen now it says i was going to wake up early to go jogging but my toes voted against me 10 to 1. <laughs> there you go <laughs> <laughs> just some light humor there absolutely you know all we need really is a pair of trainers yeah running shoes and just get out there and walk. Yeah. You don't even have to jog yeah. to start with. Yeah. And then gradually as you feel better, you can break into a gentle jog. And then of course people end up running marathons and things because they get so yeah. hooked on it. You know, when you're improving your personal best each week, yeah. it's so tantalizing, isn't it? To see how much, how far you can go really. And at the end of the day, it's um, since we've started this Get Well Challenge on, um, on our program, I've been, I've been obviously juicing and I've been exercising and it's, it's like you say, you start off with the walks and then you can, you build yourself up. You're not, you, you shouldn't try and rush it because obviously you don't want to do too much too soon and, and damage your parts of your body or your legs or anything like that. So it's interesting because I've got the ap application on my phone as well, which is great. It shows me the whole route that I'm running now and it gives me my time and you're kind of competing in a way against yourself for beating your previous time. And when you beat your previous time, it's so, the feeling is great, but health wise, you feel so fantastic for it as well. Yes, it does. And it doesn't take long, you know, it's only about two or three days to a week of, of taking exercise like this. And suddenly we're starting to feel so much better. And I think we all need energy. You know, everyone's talking about how stressed they are and uh, we need to get out because it's good for us to get away from the, oh, you're taking your mobile phone with you, but I mean, <laughs> I leave mine behind my couch <laughs> because really I need to have time. You know, the other thing I love on the computer is my delete button. Yeah. <laughs> and I said to you on a, on a message the other day, you know, it's absolutely great. Sometimes you can just press delete and it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in life, you know, we need our delete button as well that yeah. we can, um, get under my beautiful talit and I can say, right, Lord, the next, the next time is going to be yours. I'm just going to commune with you and I'm just going to shut the world out in this beautiful prayer shawl. So it makes a huge difference and we all need to, to get away from stress. Excellent. Well, we've got a clip coming up now. It's talking about teeth whitening and slightly changing the subject. But explain to us and talk to us about teeth whitening. Well, you see, um, when we have a lot of fruit juices, we're having the green juices, the carrot juices, uh, the beetroot juices, they can stain the teeth. So an obvious thing to do is drink them through a straw instead, and then you're not going to damage the teeth. But if you find that um, the teeth are getting a little discolored, then we have some wonderful ways of bringing the teeth back to white and shiny. Excellent. Well, let's take a look at our next clip. This is about teeth whitening. As always, natural is best. So if, like me, you have a plant-based diet, that means that you're going to be consuming a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables. And they are packed to the brim with antioxidants, which is the pigments. So that is the colour, the beautiful, bright, vibrant greens and purples and reds and oranges. So that's fantastic. It's great for our health, great for our oral health to be taking all that goodness in. I wouldn't change it for anything. But it does mean that my teeth do end up being 
quite discolored unless I do turn to you know some of these natural little tricks so without further ado I'm going to get into it now I've got five of my top natural tooth whiteners and I have tested them inside out I've been using them you know over the last 10 years pretty consistently so I can give you some really accurate feedback on them uh, so we'll start with baking soda and that's one that you've probably heard of before it's used in a lot of your mainstream tooth care products and toothpaste so the good thing about this is it's cheap, it's easy to find, you'll find it in any of your supermarkets, chemist. Just one little tip with this is it's best if you can find one that is aluminium free. You're more than likely to find an aluminium free one in a health store or just do a, a Google search and, um, and you should be able to find one that's in your area and they can just post it to you. So in case you haven't seen it, it's just a fine white powder and the way that this removes a lot of the staining is because it's slightly abrasive. Now it is getting a bit of a bad rap out there for being, you know, seen as being quite harmful to the teeth because of its abrasive qualities. But I don't think that it's abrasive as some of the other products that are out there like your clays and so on. And if you're using it just on the front surface of the teeth, just the teeth that you can see when you smile, which is what I do, then you're not going to have any issue. Just make sure that you use a very soft toothbrush, either soft or extra soft. You can even use your finger, I do that sometimes. So you just sprinkle a little bit of it onto your toothbrush or onto your finger and then just gently massage it just over the front teeth there that you can see when you smile, as I said before. Hi viewers and welcome back. Explain to us, now you mentioned it before we went to the clip about our, tooth, our teeth being discoloured. Explain to us further and how the juicing can, can cause our teeth to be discoloured. Well, of course, the juices are these wonderful colours and they're natural colours. And uh, as you know, if you've made a juice with carrot, um, everything can get stained as you're doing it. You know, you have to bleach that, um, the auger if you've got one of those um, triturating juices like I've got. So uh, the carrot juice does discolour that and it will also discolour our teeth. So I learnt um, fairly early on to uh, use a straw to drink my carrot juice. I should have brought you a straw this time, Si, sorry about that. <laughs> but um, anyway, that works. And cleaning with the bicarbonate of soda is wonderful because again, we don't really want to put all those chemicals in our mouths mm -hmm. when we clean our teeth and uh, especially with the grandchildren you know i get i clean their teeth with bicarbonate of soda mm. and they're most intrigued about that because they can put the you know they dip the brush into the into the, the uh, tube or the um, the tin of bicarbonate of soda and i get the one that's aluminium free as she suggested so arm and hammer is a good one you can get that in most health food shops mm -hmm. and it is the most wonderful way of cleaning the teeth and uh, you know, if people have ever forgotten to buy their toothpaste, I suggest you try bicarbonate of soda. Oh. And it tastes quite bland. It doesn't taste like a lovely minty taste. But of course, you can make it into a paste mm. with, some, with some mint. And I've done that, and it's really quite nice. And they're now making natural, what they call natural toothpastes as well. But really, the least expensive way to clean your teeth and to keep them shiny and white is really the bicarbonate of soda. And is it as advised we should be cleaning our teeth, is it twice a day? Every time you eat, basically. Every time you eat. And especially when you're having a juice like this, uh, one should clean the teeth afterwards. You can buy the, you know, those little toothbrushes in sets that uh, fold up and keep it, keep it in the handbag for the girls. And when you're flying, I always have my little toothbrush with me and my bicarbonate of soda. What sort of cost is that? Um, for oh, that? pennies. You know, you buy for the kitchen. We've all had baking soda when we've been making all those cakes that we used to make. <laughs> and so my baking soda is now, I haven't made a cake for years now, um, but the bicarbonate soda is being used for tooth cleaning. So there we go. Excellent. Um, in, the, in our previous hour, we were talking about a lovely, delicious Christmas dinner, vegan dinner. Um, that was a lovely, lovely meal that was prepared. Just give an idea to our viewers, some other ideas that they can prepare, nice, healthy cooking recipes during the Christmas period. Oh my goodness, I right off the top of my head. <laughs> well, people can have a look in my book and see what I've done. Of course, the mince pies are done with fruit, basically. Oh, you explain know, to min us about that, Felicity. Mince pies yeah. are the dried fruit. Yeah. So you've got the raisins and sultanas. And I also, when I make my mince pies, I put all kinds of beautiful fruits in there. Mm. And um, that's a delicious, 
and you can make a very flaky pastry, a light flaky pastry, with the coconut oil. And you can also use coconut flour. Now, mm. some people may not know about coconut flour, but um, you can use these healthy alternatives to, say, wheat. And um, it is fun experimenting. And of course, the grandchildren love to be in the kitchen when I'm experimenting, and then they can they can taste everything as we go. Excellent. So it's, it's fun. good to me as well. It's fun. Um, OK, viewers, let's take a look at our final clip for today. This is talking about the benefits of coconut oil. Let's take a look. Hey, guys, it's Danny. And for today's 101 ingredient, I'm covering coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is just that. It's the oil that's extracted from the flesh of the coconut. And it's one of the healthiest oils you can cook with because it's extremely stable. Now, it is a saturated fat. And I know that saturated fats have gotten a bad reputation over the last couple decades. But truth be told, saturated fats are great for cooking because they're real whole food fats that do not change composition once they're heated. So what that means is they don't oxidize easily, therefore they don't create free radicals in the body like a lot of the less stable oils, like say an extra virgin olive oil, can do if it's heated. The main fat in coconut oil is lauric acid, which is a medium chain fatty acid unique to coconut oil and breast milk. It's a power fat. It's antiviral, antifungal, anti-inflammatory. It protects against cancer stimulates metabolic activity, it supports and boosts the immune system, and it lowers the risk of heart disease by increasing our HDLs, which is also known as our good cholesterol. And for those of you less impressed by the science of it all, just know that it tastes great and it makes your hair and your skin look amazing. Another interesting fact about coconut oil is that it's considered the low fat fat. It has nearly 2.2 less calories per gram than any other fat out there. So it makes a delicious and nutritious addition to any type of diet. As for the flavor, it has a very mild, sweet, nutty, kind of vanilla taste to it. And it pairs well with lots of different ingredients. But personally, I love it with scrambled eggs or dark leafy greens. When you're shopping for coconut oil, you want to look for oils that are unrefined or virgin. What this is going to mean is that they've been cold pressed and not chemically treated. Now, some people actually prefer refined coconut oil because it has a more neutral taste and smell to it. But just know that in order to accomplish that, it does have to be deodorized and bleached during processing. Now, a good coconut oil is not necessarily cheap. A container this size, which is almost 30 ounces, is nearly 20 bucks. But the good news is it lasts a long time Hi viewers and welcome back. That's just some of the benefits that you can get from lovely coconut oil. There's so many are and, um, and you, we can cook with the coconut oil. It's great for our skin. It's great for our hair. There are just so many benefits, aren't there? That's right. And I think one of the best is the oil swilling where we put the coconut oil in the mouth and we swill it around for 10, 15 minutes and it will take all the viruses and bacteria out of ear, nose and throat. And then you just throw that out in a tissue and put it in the bin not down the plug because that blocks plugs. But anyway, the oil swelling is amazing and will also take away a toothache. And uh, it's a great, and also cleans the teeth beautifully as well. So a great, great thing. The coconut oil is just amazing. And it helps to lower the heart disease as well. Yes, it does. Mm. Yes, if only we had known about coconut oil and uh, hadn't spent all these years on the trans fats, everyone would be so much healthier. But you know, the great news is Sai, that um, we can get well and stay well when we, when we revert to the healthy options. Yeah. It's amazing how the body will always try to heal. That's the, that's the joy of our beautiful immune system that God has given us. And that's the beauty of us doing the juicing because we're really, we, like you say, we are healing our bodies. And it's, um, it's a way of detoxing as well and removing all those all the bad foods that we have been accumulating over the many, many years. And, and we just hope we're, we're um, informing our viewers on how they can change their diet because it is down, pure and simply down to education and like how you grew up, how you grew up and how I grew up. And we were just completely oblivious of everything. And we, we maybe didn't understand or realize the dangers of processed foods, for example, because we think we're going to treat our 
children, they've been a good child, let's take them to a fast food restaurant to be treated. But you're doing the opposite really, aren't you? Exactly, and giving them sweets, you know, this is, this is the thing that um, parents are always rewarded with something sweet. And it's such a mistake because the children get this sugar addiction really young and you want to reward them with a fun thing that they can do instead, but not necessarily just have something sweet to, to drink or to eat. And all those sweets, you know, the manufactured sweets are just so full of sugar and chemicals. And of course, um, the food manufacturers have designed it that way, that all this food is so addictive. And um, it's only when you start to learn about it and what's actually in the ingredients in these things that um, you realize the aspartame, you know, the, the artificial sugar has been so bad for, for generations now and caused this huge epidemic of diabetes and heart disease and cancer. So really we have to educate ourselves and uh, get well and stay well. And um, it's a joy to be able to present the programs. I mean, it's like we're talking about processed foods and we're talking about the fast foods and restaurants and everything else. In the past, when, when, when I was younger and I'd, I'd eat the fast food or anything like that, you'd, it never would quite fill you up, would it? You'd always still feel hungry afterwards and, you've just, and you've just had a, you feel you've just had a big meal. Um, but yet when you eat healthy, you feel, you feel fulfilled. That's right. And if you carry you know, some um, sultanas or some raisins or some dates, and dates are very often sold at Christmas you know, in, in those packages, and of course a date is, um, that's a lovely sugar and it's a real natural sugar. They grow beautifully in Israel. You know, when you fly in now, you go over this absolute orchards of, of date palms, so beautiful and so sweet. So that's a natural sweetener. And the stevia is the one, you know, we used to be taught that agave was a good one that's made from a kind of cactus. But the stevia is made from a green plant and uh, a broad-leafed green plant and that is actually healthier for us so you can buy stevia in a bottle in a squeezy bottle from uh, an organic shop and that is a great way to sweeten anything that you're going to to make okay well we are coming towards the, to the end of today's program felicity if you can just summarize the, what we've discussed in the last hour and a half well we tried to make a lovely christmas program a pre-christmas program and so we talked about some lovely vegan alternatives the chestnut roast instead of the turkey and the turkeys all vote for that believe it or not so um, it's been really good fun to share this time with you and we hope that you have a wonderful christmas and we look forward to seeing you again in the new year so stay healthy well safe traveling mercies to you and god bless what are your plans throughout the Christmas period, Felicity? Well, I'm flying home to Jersey. I'm going back to see my family, and I'm really looking forward to that. And um, the children are all getting very excited. The grandchildren are in their nativity plays, and uh, the youngest, the little baby, is going to be the baby Jesus, actually, oh. in, in the nativity play at her um, nursery. So that's great fun, and um, we're going to have a lovely family Christmas together, hopefully. That's what it's about, and we, we do wish all our viewers a very merry, merry Christmas throughout this whole Christmas period, and it's, it's important if we can try and spend it with friends and family, and, and I'd give some advice out to our viewers as well. If you know any, anyone who might be on their own this Christmas, why don't you invite them to your house or to your celebrations and let them join in, because there is no greater thing than just everyone being together and for people to just feel the love during this Christmas period. As always viewers, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an amazing year with what with our viewers on Revelation TV and doing Get Well, Stay Well. And just to remind you, we're doing the Get Well Challenge on Twitter. It's hashtag Get Well Challenge. So we'd love to hear your updates of how you're changing your diets. Are you juicing? Are you exercising? Give us an update. We'd absolutely love to hear from you and we'll read it out on air. Also to remind you that we have a catch-up service on Revelation TV. It's on our website. It's on www.revelationtv.com. Uh, we, we have a section on there called Get Well, Stay Well. And we also have a YouTube page, which is youtube.com slash RTV Europe. Um, we're on Twitter, social media. So it's, face, it's on twitter.com slash revelation TV. So that's it. It's been a wonderful year, viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Christmas to you and all your family and friends. Lots of love from Revelation TV. God bless. Bye.